In the world of professional boxing, few names shine as brightly as Naoya Inoue, known as the Monster. This Japanese sensation has captured the hearts of fans worldwide with his incredible skill, exceptional power, and determination. Over the course of his 10-year professional boxing career, Naoya has remained undefeated. Despite facing formidable opponents, he has managed to knock out nearly all of them. Naoya Inoue's journey to fame is a testament to a rare blend of physical prowess, unwavering discipline, and innate talent. He emerged as the epitome of Japanese professional boxing, embodying the aspirations of countless young fighters. But this extraordinary success came at a steep price for the ambitious boxer, an effort that consumed his entire life. Inoue's path to becoming a world champion in four weight categories by the age of 28 is an inspiring saga of relentless dedication and skill. Today, we delve into the story behind this ambitious young man's rise to prominence. Naoya Inoue embarked on his professional boxing journey in the light flyweight division, facing Chrisan Omayo as his first opponent. Their encounter unfolded in November of 2012, culminating in a spectacular fourth round knockout delivered by Naoya. The next two fights with Thai boxer Nagao Perjan Chuatana and Japanese Yuki Sano also ended in brilliant victories for Inoue. He knocked out Chuatana in the first round, but Sano took a little longer to finish. The audience waited for the knockout for 10 rounds. With his fourth opponent, Ryoichi Taguchi, Inoue went the full distance for the first time in 10 rounds. Nevertheless, he won by unanimous decision of the judges, winning the title of Japanese champion in his weight category. Naoya fought his first four fights in the professional ring in just one year, and in his fifth fight against Filipino Gerson Mancio, whom he met in December of 2013, he won the vacant OBPF light flyweight title. However, this was only the beginning. The talented 20-year-old, who had already earned the nickname The Monster within his first few fights as a pro, had a great future ahead of him and dozens of spectacular fights. The first fight that rightfully earned a place in the top 10 was between Inoue and Adrian Hernandez. They met in the ring in April of 2014, at the dawn of Naoya's career. The experienced Mexican with an impressive 29-3 record had already won the WBC light flyweight title twice. From the very first round, Inoue forced his opponent to play by his rules. He started off cautiously, skillfully dodging Hernandez's punches and occasionally landing quick jabs and hooks. But by the middle of the first round, Inoue was in full control of the ring space. He seemed to anticipate all of his opponent's punches. He rapidly attacked the champion, mixing punches to the head and body, which always caught him off guard. In the second round, Naoya also dominated both in terms of the number of punches and their accuracy. The fight with Inoue was supposed to be his fifth title defense. For Naoya, it was only the sixth fight in his professional career. And although Inoue's knockout statistics were off the charts, it was hard to believe that this newcomer would be able to take the world championship belt from the ring veteran. In the third round, Hernandez realized that he was already losing on points and began to act less cautiously. However, each of his desperate attacks was met with a tough response from Inoue. With each subsequent round, the champion's actions became more and more rash. Yeah. 
He paid for several accurate hooks and uppercuts with a brutal beating near the ropes. And in the fifth round, the rivals engaged in a dynamic exchange of blows, during which Inoue hit the champion's head with several heavy hooks. In the sixth round, Hernandez relied on shortening the distance as Inoue's sweeping hooks had already done him considerable damage. The Mexican's face was bleeding from a cut, so he rushed in to close combat with all his might, working mainly on Inoue's body. However, the champion's strategy didn't work. In the last minute of the round, Inoue broke the distance and threw a series of right hooks and left uppercuts, which he finished with a final right hook to the head of Hernandez. The champion fell to his knees and was unable to continue the fight, and the WBC Light Flyweight Championship belt went to a new owner. After becoming the champion, 20-year-old Naoya set a record for the fewest fights on his way to the title. However, this record was broken a few years later by Ukrainian Vasily Lomachenko. In September 2014, Naoya defended his WBC light flyweight belt in a grueling fight with Thai fighter Samartlek Kokiajim, who he managed to knock out in the 11th round. But in December of the same year, Inoue gave up the WBC belt to fight for the WBO Junior Bantamweight title. The champion in this weight category was Omar Narvaez, who was already 39 years old at the time. He had more than four dozen fights behind him, half of which he won by knockout. However, Omar's experience did not deter the ambitious Inoue. As soon as the bell rang, Naoya began to probe his opponent with short jabs. Inoue quickly managed to find the weaknesses in Omar's defense, and at the 30th second of the first round, the champion was knocked down by a right hook from Naoya. Narvaez got up, but within half a minute, the situation repeated itself. This time, the Japanese's lightning-fast left hook worked. Skillfully alternating single punches to the head and body, Naoya controlled his opponent throughout the first round. At times, he pushed Omar to the ropes and landed a series of two or three hooks and uppercuts, taking advantage of the fact that his opponent could not escape. The champion also had a tough time in the second round. Less than a minute later, he was on the verge of a knockdown again. Narvaez staggered from a heavy left hook by Naoya, after which the Japanese rushed to finish off his opponent. Omar was saved only by the fact that he managed to break the distance in time. In the middle of the second round, Naoya once again humiliated his experienced opponent with a knockdown, catching him with a counter left hook. A few seconds before the end of the round, Inoue pinned Narvaez against the ropes and threw several series of punches. He finished the last of them with a powerful left hook, forcing Omar to the canvas for the fourth time. It was a knockout. Naoya not only physically, but also mentally destroyed a reputable opponent, becoming the new WBO Junior Bantamweight Champion. Over the next two years, Naoya managed to make four title defenses. First, he knocked out Warlito Parinas in the second round. Then he defeated David Carmona by unanimous decision. And he finished his last two contenders for the belt, Pechbarn Gaborn, Kokiat Jim, and Kohai Kono in the 10th and 6th rounds. It was becoming increasingly difficult for Noya to find worthy opponents. The champion persistently sought to fight with four division champion and WBC champion Roman Gonzalez. However, Gonzalez chose Carlos Cuadras as his opponent, and he thought the fight with him was more favorable. Inoue got the ambitious Mexican Ricardo Rodriguez. 
This fight took place in May of 2017 and gave boxing fans a real treat. The hot Mexican temperament of Rodriguez clashed with the cold and rational mind of Inoue. Throughout the first round, Naoya provoked his opponent, trying to force him to make impulsive actions. He was hitting Ricardo with single hooks and crosses, forcing him to let his defense down. Several times, Naoya landed long series of punches and occasionally worked reactively, countering Rodriguez with hard hooks and uppercuts. In the second round, the Japanese relied on a single heavy punch with a pull-up, which saved him from his opponent's counterattack. And at the end of the second round, he finally managed to anger the challenger and landed several heavy hooks, taking advantage of his carelessness. It seemed like a few more seconds and Rodriguez would be on the canvas. However, he was saved by the bell. At the beginning of the third round, Naoya's precise left hook made his opponent stagger. A few seconds later, the monster knocked Rodriguez down with a hard hook. As soon as the Mexican got up, he was caught again by Inoue's left hook, which was the last of the fight. Inoue's fifth title defense ended with another brilliant victory. After a relatively easy and colorful victory over Rodriguez, Naoya continued his winning streak. In 2017, he defended his championship twice more, defeating Antonio Nieves, whose corner threw in the towel after the sixth round, and Yon Boyo, who was knocked down four times on his way to a technical knockout. At the beginning of 2018, Inoue got a chance to fight for the WBA regular bantamweight championship with its then owner, British boxer, Jamie McDonald. The long-awaited bout took place in May of that year and became one of Naoya's best fights. Inoue quickly figured out McDonald's tactics and launched an effective attack in the first minute of the fight, pinning the champion against the ropes. Alternating between hooks and uppercuts to the body, he landed a series of nearly a dozen lightning strikes, but this was only the first wake-up call. Less than a minute later, Naoya nearly knocked Jamie out with a perfect left hook. McDonald got up, but spent less than 10 seconds on his feet, during which Naoya was breaking him down near the ropes. Jamie's fatal shot was a right hook by Inoue, after which he was unable to get up. It took Naoya less than two minutes to knock out and take the championship belt from the famous Briton. After becoming a world champion in the third weight category, Naoya decided to take part in the World Boxing Super Series. In October 2018, Inoue defeated Juan Carlos Peano in the bantamweight quarterfinals, breaking his own record for the fastest knockout. Naoya finished his opponent with a right cross at 1 minute and 10 seconds of the first round. In addition, in this fight, he defended his new WBA regular bantamweight title for the first time. Emmanuel Rodriguez became the next opponent of the Japanese fighter in the WBSS semifinal. Emmanuel and Naoya were the same age and had almost identical records without a single defeat. So, it looked like Rodriguez could cause Inoue some problems. However, the monster did not disappoint. From the very first seconds of the fight, Rodriguez was working as the number one and completely controlled the center of the ring. However, at the end of the first minute, Noya broke through his opponent's defense with an incredibly accurate right hook, which marked the beginning of a dynamic exchange of blows. Rodriguez was fast and constantly trying to push Inoue to the ropes. However, Naoya did not give his opponent the opportunity to impose his game on him. He got out of Emmanuel's trap and attacked him with a series of multi-level strikes. Instead, Naoya was able to take most of Rodriguez's punches on the block.
In the second round, Noya came out with a determined intention to finish the fight. He immediately exchanged punches with his opponent and shook him with several heavy blows. The last of these punches landed right on Rodriguez's chin and instantly knocked him to the canvas. But as soon as he got up, Inoue knocked him down again with a right uppercut. The end of the fight was not long in coming. In a few seconds, Inoue finished his opponent, pressing him against the ropes. And the last straw for Rodriguez was Nahoya's right hook, after which he fell for the third and final time. After this fight, Noya Inoue added the IBF and vacant ring magazine bantamweight champion belts to his collection. In November 2019, Inoue fought against Filipino boxer and WBA super bantamweight champion Nonito Donaire at the WBSS bantamweight final. The experienced Donaire, who had almost 50 fights in the professional ring, managed to become one of the few truly difficult opponents in Inoue's career. In the first round, the fight was even. Several dynamic exchanges of blows warmed up the audience and showed that this fight would keep them in suspense until the very end. And it was true, because already in the second round, the ringside passions were running high. The rivals mercilessly shot each other with heavy hooks to the head and hard uppercuts to the liver. After one of Donaire's punches, a serious cut formed under Inoue's right eyebrow and blood began to pour into his eye. But Naoya continued the fight, paying no attention to his injury. In the fifth round, Nonino already had problems. At the end of the round, he was staggered by a heavy right hook from Inoue. After that, Naoya pressed him against the ropes and began to finish him off alternating right and left hooks. The bell saved the Filipino fighter from the inevitable knockdown. The episode made Donaire very angry. In the next few rounds, he seemed to set out to inflict as much pain as possible on Inoue. Meanwhile, Naoya's eye was bleeding from the cut he received in the second round. However, he did not think about stopping the fight. In the ninth round, Inoue had a particularly tough time. One of Denaire's powerful hooks almost put him on the canvas. Naoya finished the round with a broken nose and an even more bloody face. However, in the 11th round, he managed to recover. In the second minute of the round, Naoya landed a left hook to Donaire's liver. In pain, the Filipino just fell to his knees and got up only on the count of nine. The final round of this fight was like a test of survival for both opponents. Inoue and Donaire staged a real massacre. And in the last seconds of the final round, they exchanged several powerful hooks that threatened to knock each one of them down. At the end of this legendary fight, the audience gave a standing ovation, while Nonito and Naoya hugged each other in relief and thanked each other for a grueling fight. Inoue won the fight by unanimous decision. In addition to the WBA Super Bantamweight Championship belt, he also received the main prize of the WBSS, the Muhammad Ali Trophy. In addition, Inoue vs. Donaire was recognized as Fight of the Year by Ring Magazine. Naoya has already achieved much higher results than most boxers in their entire career. His speed, strength, and incredible knockout potential are admired by his fans, and feared by his opponents. So let's wish Naoya Inoue even more victories and enjoy his incredible spectacular fights.
Please subscribe to our channel to enjoy the best episodes from the world of martial arts. And don't forget to like and comment as it helps us to improve our content. See you in the next video. See you next time in the ring.